Awesome Patty from Pennsylvania with an art journal flip. This is number three in my Strathmore 500 series mixed media journals. I journaled in this book between January and April of 2015. In this journal, there's a lot of different mixed medias, a lot of different techniques, but there is also some sketchbook school lessons and some life drawing. So if looking at life drawing is not your thing, um, then I will warn you when I'm about to get to those pages and you can skip ahead. The journal starts off with a sketchbook school lesson with colored pencils. We're putting on the different layers of color. I did the most unappetizing strawberry I've ever seen. But it was fun trying to learn how to work with the colored pencils. On the cover of the book, I did mark out all my different um, Prismacolor colors and the Derwent colors that I used on this page. Some more colored pencil work, uh, trying to do a realistic object, and I chose some lumpy red potatoes, and again I marked which colors I used. And then on top of that I did use a pen and put in some cross hatching on top of the colored pencil. Sketchbook School went to a um, gun show and sketched while I was there. This was the pickle vendor, home of the crazy cucumber. And this was his logo, a little Peter Pickle. Peter Piper's Pennsylvania Pickles Free Samples. little exercise in creative lettering. I was reading a book about wildflowers and weeds and their final beauty, and that night I dreamed I was walking through a field of dried wildflowers picking seed heads, so I decided to sketch these milkweed pods. Some watercolor in the background. A little ink on top. One little seed left in the seed pod. Milkweed seed pods. Always trying to do people. Not always successful. Was having a really hard time. You can see here it says, oops. And there's a page missing. It says, rule number one. Do not cut any pages out of the journal. No matter how bad. Oops, I cut out a page. It says, I just spent the last three days obsessing over this. I blame Danny Gregory for starting sketchbook school and making me take out the gouache that has been safely hidden away in the basement for years. I blame Roz Stendhal for making me think that using gouache to do a portrait would be a good thing. And I blame the model, Linda, for not looking more like how I painted her. But it was fun, and it's all in the experience. Working with the viewfinder to get uh, to composing a picture, creating a focus for your page, and working on perspective. And I used the viewfinder to sketch my Yamaha keyboard. Working with watercolor wash techniques, wet on dry, wet on wet. We have a solid color and a range of colors here. Again, working with watercolor techniques. Doing a sky in the background and on top. I had seen um, two eagles down by Lake Anilani. So I decided to put them into the picture and there's a bunch of snow geese down on the lake. It says here I used a tissue to wipe out the clouds.
sketchbook school lesson with Jane Lafazio working on composition. I did some fruit using this squares, blocking off the different shapes. Really like how the banana came out. And also doing a composition with the vegetables. To make your compositions interesting, use the different sizes, and sometimes you have what's pictured in one block run into another block. Piece of cherry pie. I did in watercolors, a little ink on top. Pretty wonky plate, but the pie looks pretty good. I saw the movie Mockingjay with Jennifer Lawrence, and I really liked a song in the movie called The Hanging Tree, so I wrote down the lyrics, and I drew the Mockingjay emblem on the page. Some watercolors, some color pencils, some ink. The, the rest of the song... And then uh, I did a sketch of a tree using the ink pen. Groundhog Day 2015, snow, sleet, rain, ice, wind, cold. And I drew a picture of my monkey feet PJs. Had a cup of tea and two gluten-free cookies. Some more portrait work. This was done at the Yoakum Art Institute Portrait Workshop. These were two of the artists who were doing portraits. And this was the model. Taking my sketchbooks out to the Susquehanna River. This is the bridge over the Susquehanna by Columbia. And there's a restaurant there. It was made from an old factory. So I put some uh, gears to represent the, um, the factory where the restaurant was. Also along the river, we stopped at Lake Clark Marina. And I drew the lighthouse. And it's my friend Carol. It was very cold and icy. I sat in the car and sketched some of the birds we saw there. Some Canada geese, a swan, some ducks. Across the river you can see some turbines in the distance. Still along the river. There's a buffalo, buffalo head duck. A couple of people down by the river all bundled up. Some trees. You can see the snow and the ice. This was a sketchbook school lesson with Ra Stendhal. This is warm-up gestures using a Lamy pen. And what I'm sketching here is my toy zebra. His name is Marty. And when you can't go out and sketch animals at the zoo or the park, you can purchase one of these plastic toys and have it in the house to sketch any time. So I tried different poses from the front, from the back, trying to get the proportions correctly by using these drop lines. Working again on a warm-up, using colored pencils to get the shapes. Looking at negative spaces between the legs to get the right shape. And drop lines from the shoulder to position the legs. Some more zebras. Uh, I put Marty down on the floor and sketched him from above. And then painted each one a different color. And 
and here is a close-up of Marty. Stop by to say hello. Lots of splashes of watercolor on his face. Another sketchbook school lesson. This one was with Tommy Kane. We are to draw our kitchen. I started. Um, I wasn't having much fun, so I stopped and wrote about it and slapped on this card. This is a card from Roz that says, Don't be afraid of messy pages. They teach us something. And I just wrote in or unfinished pages. This is one of Roz's Fun Factor flashcards number five. Saw the movie Jupiter Ascending. Did a gouache background of the colors of Jupiter. You can see the storm, the eye of the storm right there. And then just journaled a bunch of facts about J Jupiter on top of that. This was in the movie theater while we were waiting for the movie to start. I took my journal with me and I did a quick sketch of Tom's feet. This is the kind of theater where you get the chairs where the um, you can recline back and your feet come up. So I had a good view of his feet. Okay, life drawings coming up for the next couple of pages. This was a major project, life drawing. What I did to prepare was I took an old picture that I had done in elementary school on November 7th, 1963. And I wrote about it, a couple pages up here. I was at Madison Elementary School in Bridgeport and the teacher had us pre-paint a large piece of paper with bold stripes of color. So we pre-painted the paper with color. And then she asked the student to stand in front of the class and we were going to do, quote unquote, some life drawing. Of course, this life drawing, the student kept his clothes on. But even by this time, I had already followed my father around at the Students' Art League in New York City. So I actually knew what life drawing should be. So when I drew the model, I drew in his cheeks. So it kind of looks like he doesn't have any clothes on. Very weird shaped body, but... I tried to make him look like he was naked. So what I did was I cut that page up that I had kept from 1963 and I pasted it in the journal. So I put this on the right side and then on the left side I pre-painted the same colors, pink, kind of a dark yellowish green and a blue. On this page, I did the same thing. I pasted this paper in and pre-painted the other side, this um, pink, magenta color, and the yellow and the blue. And I had one character left, so I put him there and pre-painted the pages kind of a bluish green. And then another character in some of strips of just a color, I just randomly pasted on the page, pre-painted them yellow and blue again, and some pink. And then I took the journal to life drawing. I used a dip pen with black, green, and red ink on this watercolor background. These, this is Kendra, who was very pregnant at the time. And we did a series of short poses. So I love this page with my life drawing from 1963 and my life drawing from 2015. On this page again, some more short poses using dip pens in different colors and a bit of that paper from 1963. This was also with a dip pen. You can see how I scratched into the paper trying to get some ink on there. Probably wasn't very sure what I was doing. Some 20 minute poses. Again with a dip pen on the blue background. And the longer pose. And then I wrote my story about doing this life drawing. Taking 
my journal to the Philadelphia Flower Show. They were celebrating the movies. They had some chickens. There's a rusty old tow truck and some other cars. This was inspired by Disney movie Cars. Their emblem was this calla lily, golden calla lily. Probably to represent maybe an award like an Oscar. While we were in Philadelphia, we ate lunch at the Reading Terminal Market. And then we went to see the Liberty Bell. I took my journal and put the page up against a sign that they had on the wall where you can do a rubbing. So this is the Liberty word Liberty that was rubbed on there. And then we went to an old radio museum um, at the Atwater Kent Philly Historical Museum. Got some new gouache. This is um, by Schmecki. So playing with the different colors. Doing a quick sketch of two sleeping cats, Stinky and Titi. Not a very good portrait of Spock or Leonard Nimoy. Still trying to get those portraits in with gouache. But at least I didn't cut this one out. I did find this portrait that I probably did back in 1967 or 68. This is Norman Rockwell. So it looked like I was better at portraits years ago than I am now. So I have to refine my portrait mo mojo. The Oakham Art Institute, little figure study. Working on Blind Contour Challenge, and this is my little Olaf from the movie Frozen. Blind Contour Challenge. This one you press the button and he spins around and he talks. Wait, what am I looking at right now? That's a line that he says in the movie that he, my little Olaf character does. So I took the gouache outside and I tried to do a tree portrait. Kind of like the way the trunk came out. Draw what you see out your window. I saw a red winged blackbird. So that's what I sketched. Here's the other Olaf contour. It says, looking five times. Hi, everyone. I'm Olaf, and I like warm hugs. There's some more Olaf coming up. Another portrait from the Yoakum Art Institute. Took my journal uh, along with me traveling to Connecticut. There's kind of a lot of snow on the ground, so this is a very snowy picture of a fence along a farm field. Some of the hillsides with a tree covered in snow. Some of the dried this um, teasel that was on the side of the road. This is in a road cut of frozen waterfalls. And this was crossing the Nyack River, which was under, the new bridge was under construction at that time. Kind of did a really abstract picture of the barges and the cranes that were on the barges. Still working with that gouache, trying to make some neutral colors. So I'm here, I'm blending the primaries to make some neutral grays and browns. And here is a very scary contour, modified contour. So that means you get to look a few times of Olaf again. Some people are worth melting for, but he looks very scary. I, don't, I wrote down, why does he look so angry? I don't know. Here was an assignment from sketchbook school, and we just had to draw an everyday object. So I drew the newspaper with the crossword puzzle in it that I like to do in the morning. Another everyday object was the 
uh, napkin holder on the table with some napkins. This is in uh, watercolor and ink. Hold this sideways so you can see the whole thing. It says crocus and there's a bunch of purple and yellow flowers. All right, I'm going to turn it sideways. When the crocus come up in the spring, I take the leaves and I rub them into the journal and the pigment from the flower stains the paper. So these colors, all this purple and yellow color is from the pigment from the flower petals. It lasts pretty good. There's a couple of watercolors here on top, but most of the main pigment, the purple and the yellow, is from the leaves and you can see little bits kind of rubbed into the paper. More spring flowers. Going outside and sketching the daffodils after dinner. Did a negative shape painting. Some more spring flowers. Taking notes what was going on around me. Portrait workshop, Yoakum Institute. Some gouache and a Pentel brush pen. Took the journal to Cabela's to sketch some of the wildlife. This is the eye of the elephant. This was a very quick sketch in the store using the large um, Liquitex acrylic markers. And one more with the markers, the acrylic markers. It gets a little shiny on the page. Uh, Pride of Lions after a poor little kudo. All right. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye now.